So you're charged with a case in Hendricks County. What exactly is going to happen? So in all likelihood, you're going to be filed into one of four courts. Circuit Court, Superior Court 5, Superior Court 4, or Superior Court 2. Likely to be one of those four. Initially, what's going to happen is you're going to have your first hearing. That's called an initial hearing. As of right now, they're running those virtually. At an initial hearing, all a judge is going to do is read what your charges are and ask if you understand your constitutional rights. So you'll go over the fact you have the right to an attorney, uh, the, the right to remain silent, that you have the right to a trial, and a trial by jury, if that's what you choose. Now, if you're charged with a misdemeanor and you hire an attorney ahead of time, the odds are that attorney is going to waive your initial hearing because that's all a judge is going to do is just tell you what you're charged with. After that, depending on which court you're in, they will set your hearing for what's called either a pretrial conference or a bench trial. So odds are, in Hendricks County, you're only going to have to go to court maybe two or three times total, tops. So you go from the initial hearing, then you have a bench trial, pretrial conference, and then you'll have what I call disposition day. That's either going to be where you enter an agreement with the state or you have a trial. Now, in between then, an experienced attorney like myself, like everyone at my firm, is going to be chatting and talking with the prosecutor, negotiating on your behalf, gathering evidence, potentially leading to a favorable outcome, uh, whether that be by trial or by plea. If you're charged with a case in Hendricks County, give us a call, 317-632-3642. Remember, always plead the fifth.